Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a, a garage band song that you've made on your iPhone on the iOS version. So this could be an iPad as well. And you can actually open that session up using the garage band application on a Mac. So if you've, you know, jotted down a song idea while you were out and about, you can bring that home and um, load that up onto your Mac where you can really mix it and master it, you know, a little bit better than you could on the iPhone. So I'm going to open the GarageBand app on my iPhone. So I have this little um, hip hop beat that I've made on my iPhone uh, using the iOS version of GarageBand, the app. And I want to get this onto my Mac. So I'm going to, on the top left hand corner, there's a little downward facing arrow. So I want to go back to where my songs are. And this is where all of your sessions that you've made uh, should be stored. And then um, this is the one right here, the dark trap beat that I've done um, right here. So I'm, you see how there's recent and browse at the bottom. You need to be on the browse. And under the browse, it's usually on my iPhone and there's usually a folder called GarageBand for iOS. So if you're in the browse, you have to hit the select on the top right hand corner first. And then you can tap on the beat or the song that you want to export. And when you um, hit this uh, upward facing arrow on the bottom left hand corner, you're going to select where this is going. So this is where you can export it as an audio file, as a ringtone for your phone, or you can actually tap to send this GarageBand project, which contains all the multi tracks. And that's the one that we want the project on the right hand corner. And then you can send this to, um, you can send it via Gmail or messenger, whatever apps you have on your phone. Um, you can um, save it to your files app, but I'm simply going to try and airdrop this to my Mac that we're looking at right here. So if I hit airdrop, um, that's right there. So that's the simple way to transfer files between an iPhone and a Mac. And then that should be in my downloads folder. Well, let's just hit open. What it's going to want to do is actually rename it because it's going to create now a Mac version. So I'm just going to write Mac on the end of that. And I'm actually going to get rid of all these emojis. Just call it dark trap beat Mac. And I actually want to save this perhaps to my desktop just for the moment. And then it's going to open it up. Now, if you are using any um, samples and maybe uh, instruments that were on your um, phone, but they're not on your computer, you may have to download some additional sounds. So I'm going to hit download. These may be Apple loops. Um, I'm assuming it's probably Apple loops. Uh, if I go up to the top right hand corner. Yes, Apple loops. Um, I'm assuming because this is a pretty fresh installation of GarageBand on my new um, iMac on my new Mac mini rather. Um, yeah, it hasn't even indexed them yet. So yeah, this is definitely going to be downloading some of that content. Now, um, when I finish downloading that content, I will join back with you. Okay, so all of those downloads are finished now. And when I did hit play, I didn't get any audio. So uh, I just had to check under the preferences that I did have my correct audio drivers selected um, and I didn't. So I did switch to the correct drivers and it still didn't play. So I just had to restart GarageBand and then it worked fine for some reason. So let me know if you have that same bug, but just make sure you select your right drivers. If you don't have any audio devices, just select system settings and then restart GarageBand. And now I've got my uh, trap beat um, in here and I can do a lot more with it um, because there are more features in the GarageBand Mac app. I'm now going to do a proper mix 
and a proper master of this track and I will upload those videos when they're finished. I'll leave the link in the description to this video. And uh, I'm also going to export this as stems. So I'm going to uh, export each track individually. There's no easy way to do that. So I'll show you how to do that also. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video.